Welcome to our tip 41. This is on the Easy Stats Performance Package, and we're going to be focusing on this new function called Check Model, which allows us to create these uh, diagnostic plots for your models. So if you're making linear regressions and you need to check your model on the go and quickly go through many of the different types of plots that will showcase whether or not your residual error is acceptable, this is the function to familiarize yourself with. It does everything. It allows you to check linearity, uh, influential observations, collinearity, uh, normality of residuals, and more. So we're going to be going through this one. Uh, to get started today, what you need to do is, if you haven't done so already, uh, sign up for the Art Tips Weekly. That gets you access to all of the code that you see in here. Um, it's going to help you set up your Git repository. What you're going to do is do a Git pull. And when you do that, that'll open up uh, and download all of the code for all of our R tips. And you can see we're up here, we're working out of R tip 41 Easy Stats Performance. Just open this 41 uh, Easy Stats Performance.R file. That'll open this over here and then open up the outline too um, to follow along. And, uh, and we'll get started. Before we get, we get going too far, um, make sure that you have the performance package installed. Um, I installed it with dependencies equals true. There are a lot of dependencies. Um, if you set dependencies equal to false, um, it will just install kind of the, uh, the main package. But uh, there will be a couple additional dependencies that you'll need to install as well. Um, so if you do dependencies equal true, it'll get all the dependencies in one foul swoop. Then we're going to load two libraries, Tidyverse and the performance package. And we're going to load in the data set, the data set we're working with today. It's the MPG data set. Uh, it's got manufacturers, models, and it shows what the engine um, or the, uh, the miles per gallon for city and highway. Uh, it shows the fuel economy, and then it has a lot of information about the displacement. So that's related to engine, cylinders related to engine, year that the uh, vehicle was built, the transmission type, uh, the fuel cl class, and the class of the vehicle. So uh, we're going to be, be building some linear regression models today, and we are going to check the performance. So it's actually really easy. Um, if you're familiar with the LM function in uh, our stats, uh, basically what you do is you just call LM. We're going to analyze highway fuel economy as a function of displacement and class of the vehicle. And it's going to give us some information, nothing really new here. We're going to save this model. Um, and we've got the coefficients and you can see, uh, each of how each of the different classes relates to the fuel economy, um, and also the displacement of the vehicle. Uh, but what's really cool is when we run this function check model, we can just quickly get this plot here of uh, that helps us analyze our residuals. So the mo uh, if you're familiar with modeling, anytime that you run a model, you want to understand how well that model is fitting your data. And this is exactly what this check model function does. So uh, it allows us to do just really quickly on the go uh how how um it shows you how your model performance uh is with the in sample residuals and we can see that here we're checking the linearity um, so the reference line should be flat and horizontal and we can see that for the most part it is but it does look like there are a few observations here towards the ends uh, of the fitted values where it does get a little bit um non-horizontal uh, the homogeneity of variance. So the same type of thing. This is the uh, squared standard uh, error of the residuals and then the fitted values. And you can kind of see the same type of thing over here. Um, and it's a kind of a very similar plot collinearity. So you want your uh, variance inflation to be low. So uh, green is low, which is good. Uh, blue would be bad um, or, or moderate, and then red would be high. So if this was above 10, then um, you, that would indicate that some of the variables that you're including are have a high collinearity, and they um, and you should probably remove one of those that are that, that have the collinearity issues. The influential observations, we can check this out. We can see if there are any observations that are outside of these lines, and those would be high leverage points that you may want to remove from your model to help increase the performance. 
um, the normality of residuals. So you want your residuals to roughly follow a um, straight line. And it, and this uh, does kind of follow that straight line. Um, you do see here towards the end that we do have um, a couple of maybe um, data points that we want to investigate. And then finally, your normality of residuals. Again, um, you want this to be very uh, close to the normal curve. So this green is the normal curve. And then the blue shaded region is your data. And you can see for the most part, it's a little bit, um, uh, it looks pretty normal. Uh, it's got kind of a high peak here. And then you can see that there are some kind of high leverage points over here. Um, and those are again, probably related to this, these data points up here um, that kind of have a little bit of a skew. But uh, overall, uh, the model looks pretty good. Um, the next thing is, is that if you want to take this to the next step, we also have tidy models and um, easy stats has recently started integrating the tidy models package. So I teach tidy models in my 101 R course. Um, so I'm just going to load the library of tidy models. And the cool thing about tidy models is that it has the same kind of pattern. So we're going to do the same model that we created up here, but using tidy models. So we instantiate a linear regression. Um, model specification. We set the engine to LM, uh, which is just the the, uh, the same LM function that we're going to be running up here. And then we're going to fit fit it with this um, formula to this data. So when I run that, it makes a parsnip model, which looks very similar to what we received previously. Um, it took zero mil milliseconds to fit. Uh, use the stats LM package, and then this is the model output. But we can see it is a parsnip model object. And we can run the same function and it does it makes the same plots. So this is really great. Um, it's they're now starting to integrate um, some of the tidy models. Uh, I do want to say though, um, some of the tidy models are not currently supported. So you do want to check and make sure that your um, your models are supported. All right, so learning more. Uh, we talked a little bit about modeling in here. So I think a good place to point you to is my R for Business Analysis course. If you want to learn tidy models in depth, so uh, packages like XGBoost, Random Forest, uh, Ranger uh, for, for uh, Random Forest, Decision Trees, K-Means Clustering, um, and Supervised Machine Learning, definitely check that out. I have uh, week six, which teaches, it's basically focused solely on modeling using unsupervised methods like k-means clustering and supervised methods like machine learning with regression. Um, and so you can check out the link here. And then if you really want to go from beginner to expert in under six months, check out my five course R track. This is what's helping all of my students get the awesome testimonials and really advance their careers in data science. Um, so check that out if you're uh, really committed to moving from beginner to advanced. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.